USS Eisenhower commands the world's oceans. The only problem with being the biggest thing in the ocean is that you are a gigantic and very visible target. As the British discovered during the Falklands War, the greatest threat to a ship is a missile attack. They lost two ships to the deadly Exorcet missile. If an Exorcet hits a carrier, it's game over. But the Eisenhower doesn't need to worry. The Ike is equipped with a missile system so smart it controls not only its own missiles, but the entire strike groups as well. It's called the Ship Self-Defense System, or SSDS for short. Combat Systems Officer Brian Julian is in charge of the Ike's defenses. In a nutshell, what it's done is integrated all of our sensors and our fire control weapons. In other words, all of the ships work together as a team to tackle any threat. Once it gets into killing range, the SSDS chooses the best placed launcher from the entire fleet and lets it rip. So basically everything's interconnected. Weapon systems, radars, everything works together. You gotta be ready all the time for the unexpected. And so all systems ready all the time is our credo. To ensure they're prepared for anything, the crew drills constantly. All hands man your battle stations. That's general quarters. It's where the crew is brought to a full state of readiness. No one has an idea what the threat is. It could be anything from a fire to an incoming missile. Here's what happens when an incoming missile is spotted. The ship's self-defense system triggers the first line of defense, the new, improved Sea Sparrow missile. It's faster, with a bigger warhead and even greater range. It can even obliterate high-speed sea-skimming cruise missiles. Once you fire one of the Sea Sparrow missiles, how long does it take to get to the target? It's a supersonic missile. It, it flies pretty fast. Seconds. Wow. The Sea Sparrow is steered to the target by its own shipboard radar called the Director. How far can this see in here, basically? About 50 nautical miles. Wow. When the missile is launched, it tunes into this beam and rides it out to the target. Sea Sparrow can intercept a target up to 13 miles away. It's fast, flying at supersonic speeds to take out its target using an explosive warhead. So you guys pick up a uh, missile that's about 13 miles out, and then you make a determination. How fast would that all take place? I've seen engagements take less than you know, 12 seconds up to 38 seconds from start to finish. The launcher is also packed with missiles, eight of them. The Sea Sparrow missile gives you eight opportunities to stop an incoming threat. And trust me, when you're talking about a cruise missile coming at you, you need that big a safety net. Okay, worst case scenario, what happens if an incoming threat slips through the net? Previously, the Ike relied upon a weapon called the Phalanx. The Phalanx shoots a wall of tungsten bullets at its target but it only takes out missiles once they're right near the ship. And that's a terrifying thought with an Exorcet missile coming right at you. The Ike needed a last line of defense that could strike faster and sooner. So as part of its refit, a powerful new rapid reaction missile system made its debut. It's called the RAM. It's short for Rolling Airframe Missile, and it can go faster and further than the Phalanx. Fire Controlman Second Class Robert Delahunt and his RAM team have just seconds to react. RAM is absolutely vital because it's our second umbrella of defense. It's our second level of defense on board Ike. It's a fast attack, high rate of fire missile system. 100% accurate. Really? Yes. 
After launch, the missile spins at high speed, where its wings pop out to help it fly straight. It's accurate and deadly. The ram uses Sidewinder technology. 21 can be fired in batches of three. They're used against any airborne threat, from hostile aircraft to missiles fired from an enemy ship. How do you feel about the RAM personally? RAM, it lets me sleep at night. Yeah? Yes. Having a RAM means that the aircraft carrier is no longer a gigantic sitting duck at sea, and the crew has 21 reasons to feel safer. It's simple, but superior technology makes it capable of decimating any incoming air attacks. <laughs> <laughs> 